We're getting so close to the end of 2021, which is sad on its own. But today I kind of wanted to do a little like recap video and revisiting a couple of the old games we've played over the last year and kind of making like a ranking tier list of like the top five best anime simulator type games that we have played on Roblox over the last year. Our channel has grown exponentially because of these games and I want to say a huge thank you to all of them. I want to say a huge thank you to you guys and I just kind of want to revisit them and give you guys what my thoughts are for the tier list in terms of which one of these games was better. It might not be because I play one game more than the other. It might be because I do play one game more than the other. But uh, yeah, thanks for your support. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into the intro now. So we're going to start off with an honorable mention. There's three honorable mentions that are very close and they could all be like inter-swapped, whatever you want to call it, to become number six slash number five. The first one is Anime Legends Simulator. Guys, this game had so much potential. It was so good at the start and I wish they just kept updating the game. The only reason I feel like this game isn't as good as it could be is because they have stopped updating their game but like look at this guys the animation in this game is so good level up makes it strong then you come out here and you fight these guys and you get your skills and you get your points and everything was really cool about this game it was very different and unique and the graphics were all super super cool you had your inventory you can get like different clothes and a quick cool gear you got your like different gloves upgrade and all this extra stuff that you can make yourself super super strong you got loot boxes that you would get over here you get your quests that you get around the map and then you have your like npcs which are all like kind of uniquely made so that they couldn't get like copyrighted if that was actually an issue or not but this game was very very good the only reason it is only an honorable mention is because they immediately stopped updating the game after i bought like all the game passes which kind of sucked for me because that means i basically just wasted all that money and roblox on the game i do kind of wish they kept updating it and i do kind of wish they made it a little bit more like play friendly and stuff but overall the game was very very good and I definitely enjoyed the game when it was out. So this is one of the honorary mentions. Let's go into the next honorary mention. Anime Destroyers. If you guys remember this game, it was a very little popular game, but the thing with the game is that it got kind of difficult if you were not playing it nonstop, which makes sense. You know, you gotta play the game to get strong, but something about the game wasn't clicking with people, and I don't understand what it was, because the game itself is very, very good. What you would do is you get your weapons, you walk around town, you destroy the shelters, and then you get, like, rewards for doing all that. Everything had, like, little abilities, and each ability did a certain amount of damage, but I think ultimately what this game was lacking is the incentive to keep playing. Honestly, collecting abilities was very cool, but that's all you were kind of doing. You're trying to get new abilities and unlock new worlds, which ultimately you kind of got bored of doing that once you, you know, once you unlock like all the worlds you could possibly do. And then you were just kind of waiting for the next update to come by and you just, all you could do was destroy buildings. This game was kind of like a game I used to play way back in the past um, called Viking Simulator. And I enjoyed Viking Simulator, but after a while, Viking Simulator got kind of, you know, eh. As soon as you reach like the maximum world and level you could have reached, it kind of just got to the point where, well, now it's time to go play another game because I don't need to do anything else here. But this game is very, very good, and that's why it deserves an honorable mention. Uh, very, very nice feature over here, like little leaderboard things that you can see on the side. When this was working, you can see who was on the leaderboards, like real time. Shows everything about your stats in the game. And the builds and everything are just super, super cool. Like, look at all this, guys. Look, this is a huge build. I love the sky. Like, look at this. It looks so cool. You got all these little titans, everything you can destroy around the map. Overall, the game was very, very good. But then again, just like the other games, they kind of stopped updating on time and they, it, it just, I don't know. The game wasn't like a super, super successful game, but it still has the potential and still does have the potential to be a very good game. So Anime Destroyers is one of the honorable mentions. Let's move on to the next honorable mention. The only reason 
This game is not on my top five games, it's because they stopped updating it immediately after it came out. Anime Storm Simulator, aka ASS, aka AS, um, <laughs> was a very, very good game, kind of inspired by Anime Fighter Simulator. You got your minions here, you got yourself, and then you send your minions out to attack over there. You got your special abilities, which are also very cool, how you can like use the characters' abilities for yourselves. I really, really like that, and hopefully Anime Fighter Simulator will do something like this in the future, where you can, you see, look, Boom. I just did that Gallic gun and I just killed a minion myself. Very, very cool game. Very cool ideas. Holy smokes. I, at one point I was on the leaderboards here. Um, but I do like this game a ton. Do not get me wrong. It almost deserves to be top 5. But the game came out in a state which was incomplete. There was a lot of bugs. And actually there's still a couple bugs right here. Like what is this? What am I claiming? There's like stuff that isn't complete. Like this right here. The calendar thing doesn't make sense like it, the game is very good but 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 it was not complete when it was made and it's still not complete and unfortunately they have stopped updating the game so this is all we are going to get from the game this weird demon seal what I didn't even know there was like a another world I haven't even got to play this yet uh, but look the animations are very cool the characters are very cool everything about this game is very very cool the only thing is they stopped updating the game and that's it that's literally the only reason why this is not a top five game they stopped updating the game and there was the bugs other than that i liked this game they remind me a lot of anime fighter simulator you have your squad you fuse into your squad the rebirth option which is very very cool i do wonder if anime fighter simulator is ever going to do something like a rebirth thing like this i kind of hope they don't but uh very very cool unique idea that i enjoyed um, the game itself is also very, very good, so I definitely like it. I'm very excited for their other game that they have coming out. I think it's called Anime Legends, if I'm not mistaken, but that's still not coming out till next year, I'm assuming, just because they've had a lot of stuff that they worked on this year. Anime Warriors and this game. So, two very, very good games. It's just that this game in particular just they stopped working on it and it has potential even though it wasn't getting the hundreds of thousands of play that anime fighter simulator has it's still a very very good game that i kind of wish they kept updating so that's why this comes in as an honorable mention probably the top end of the honorable mentions but still a very very good game anyways let's go ahead and get into our number five game the number five game on this list for me and my top five favorite games that has come out this year is loading up hold on it's still loading uh yeah come on load faster please oh no my screen is white oh i gotta i gotta do the oh no our table it's broken <laughs> it literally did not even open the game so the game wasn't opening up please don't tell me that's a an issue <laughs> that the game's been having because i hope not it's been a while since i've actually gotten to check out this game there was only two updates that were actually made in the game, so kind of sad because it's a very, very well-made game, and I really did enjoy it. But here we are in Omega Tower Defense, guys. If you like All-Star Tower Defense, you definitely liked Omega Tower Defense. Look, the lighting, guys, I, I can't. This lighting is amazing. The map work is amazing. Everything about this game is so, so cool. I love this little Goku statue here in the center. It's just so cool and so well made. The characters are nice. They have special abilities. There's a ton of characters you can collect. You got your quests over here. So on and so forth. Now, I think the reason why the game didn't pop up as much as we wanted it to is because of the fact that All-Star already exists and the pacing was kind of slow in the game. But it's still a very, very good game with a lot of cool characters and very cool features that even All-Star doesn't have, so I did enjoy the game quite a bit, which is why it deserves a top five spot. Building, animation, the story mode itself, everything is super, super cool. So, Omega Star, Omega Tower Defense Simulator, not Omega Star Tower Defense Simulator, Omega Tower Defense Simulator deserves another top five spot of anime games that has come out in 2021. Next, we go into number four. At the number, Four spots 
You guys probably were expecting me to put this game a little bit higher, but we have Anime Tappers. Anime Tappers is a lot like Bubblegum Simulator and a lot of tapping games that have come out in Roadblocks. Over the last year, hundreds and hundreds of tapping games have come out. Even to this game, even to this day, people are still making games that are like tapping games. Anime Tappers is a very, 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 very good game. And that is why it is number four. The character models are everything in this game. Look at Todoroki. Look at how cool he looks. Look at the Goblin Slayer. There's like the whole Halloween theme going. Wait, there's Pokemon in the game? Since when are there Pokemon? Uh, but look at the massive Beerus, and we got Ichigo. So many cool characters in the game. You got cosmetics for your cursors and everything. That is so freaking cool. I'm gonna put Ditto just because Ditto is also pretty cool. We got upgrades and we got yourself new worlds. There are so many worlds you guys can choose from. I haven't even played a couple of these updates. It's been a while since I've actually played the game, but there's a Seven Deadly Sins world for a billion yen. Let's go check it out real quick. Seven Deadly Sins world. I haven't even opened this egg yet because I've just been playing other games. We got a Miliotis out of that. It's a lot of tats, but uh... Oh wait, he's a legendary? Wait, what? Super, super cool game. The luck chances are awesome. I appreciate this game a ton. It is definitely a top four. Very close to top three contender for me. The only reason why it's not a top three is because when I played the dungeon, it kind of was just okay. And I feel like the dungeon could have been done a little bit better, but I do like how it's an infinite mode dungeon. There's a lot of different things about this game that make me like it a lot. It is kind of pay to win if you want to get a lot of cool stuff but at the same time it's also free to play because you don't actually have to get anything builds are very cool like look this is the tavern from the seven deadly sins area very very cool little build um i wouldn't have thought to do it like this but it's a very nice idea and i appreciate the game a ton look at the characters the characters are everything in this game guys look we're getting another meliotis legendary we're getting all these super cool things and they just look awesome so Top four game definitely belongs to Anime Tap. Oh my god, is that Diane? That is Diane. But Anime Tappers, number four, best game on Anime Scale on Roblox. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the number three game. I bet you weren't expecting this, but Anime Dimensions Simulator, guys, 100% deserves the number three best game on Roadlox this year. Honestly, it deserves number two because the game that I have in number two technically did not come out in 2021. Well, not technically, it didn't. So the game that is in number two did not come out in 2021, but it's still a top anime game of 2021. So technically we can call this number two slash three because of the fact that number two is not actually something that came out this year. So number three, Anime Dimension Simulator. This game is everything, guys. They give you the options in the shop to buy whatever character you want to use in your story modes. Now, the thing is, it honestly doesn't matter which character you use because they're all very useful. The character models look exactly like the anime characters, which I love. And then there's also costumes that you can buy if you want to look different and unique and stand out. Like, I can buy this Drip Goku right now and I can look like Drip Goku, but <laughs> I'm not going to do that because the crystal gems whatever you want to call them are kind of hard to get in the game not so hard that it's like gonna take me forever to get them but it does take some time for you to get some crystals in this game so uh yeah maybe a little bit more balancing in terms of the crystals and like this boss rush thing it's very very cool very cool ideas boss rush you can get these characters that unique to this shop unique to the boss rush where you have to do the boss rush and you get these tokens to unlock these characters it's a very, very well-made game. I appreciate the builds. The fighting animation looks very cool. Watch, I'm gonna join a game real quick. Uh, I can't even do that. Uh, let me create something that I can join. Level 46 plus, easy, and then let's just uh, create and start. See, it teleports you over there, and then when you're over there, you are the character that you have selected. So you have your main character and then your two like support characters that you can use their abilities or their ultimates to help you fight in the battles. And then watch, you put yourself on shift lock. It's gonna help you out in this game. Uh, there we go, shift lock is on. And then watch, incinerate. Such a cool move and it works so well. And it does so much damage and it just looks awesome. Watch this ultimate, ready? Watch, 
Oh my gosh, it obliterates everything. It's a very, very cool ultimate and every single character in the game. Look, there's Sukuna's ultimate. It looks so freaking cool. Here's Asta's ultimate with his big sword. Everything about this game is awesome. It definitely deserves all the players it has gotten over time. It honestly deserves more player. As you guys remember, I was like one of the first people to play the game. And this game has 300 million visits. So it's definitely a very popular game that deserves all the players it's gotten. So that is why I have put this at number three on my personal list as to top anime games of 2021. You can even call it, like I said, number two, because the fact that the number two game technically did not come out in 2021. But that's it for number three. Let's go check out what the number two game is. Now, although I don't play this game as much as I would want to, it definitely deserves to be the number two anime game on Roblox for 2021. This game has broken so many records in terms of player counts and updates and people anticipation waiting for something new to draw. And every time there's an update, there is always something new. Currently there are 21,000 active players and over 2.6 billion visits on this game, which makes it a super popular, very well-known game that I think everyone watching this video knows about. It is All-Star Tower Defense Simulator. Let's go to summon. You got the summons. This year, they did include this new thing where you have banner X and banner Y, and depending on your level, you can summon on a certain banner. Oh, wait, I think I need that three star. Hold on. Uh, I'm just gonna do this real quick. Sorry, guys. Uh, yes, so they added a ton of new little features to the game this year where you get your characters, and now you have six star characters. You can summon in banner X and Y. There's so many little different things that they added to the game to make it even better. The tasks where you get a ton more gems than you used to get in the past. Here's all my inventory, the new six star characters like I was talking. The new orb features where you gotta get enough uh, gems and stuff to get orbs and so on and so forth. There's this new capsule which everyone has probably already gotten capsules in the past. Um, and so on and so forth, a new snake trail, over level 100 things, a lot of new things have been added to the game which has helped it keep its popularity, which is why it deserves the number two spot of the best anime simulator game on Roblox. Like I said, possibly number three with Anime Dimensions being one that was released this year, but um, definitely number two in terms of popularity and how good of a game it is. So I'll start Tower Defense Simulator number two. And now, I know what you guys are all expecting, and I think you all knew from the beginning what number one is going to be. Let's go ahead and join that game now. Alrighty then. Enemy Fighters Simulator is 100% the best game to have come out in 20. 21 in terms of anime and in my opinion in terms of all the games that have come out on Roblox. It is definitely the one game that I have spent the majority of my time on throughout this last year, throughout my YouTube journey, throughout everything and I definitely can justify why this game is so good. It's so addicting. It's like a uh, it's like candy, honestly. You, you want candy and you want to eat candy and you want to keep eating more and more and more and more and you just want it all. This game has so many cool features that a lot of games started doing after they saw what Anime Fighter Simulator had done. First things, first, uh, the spin the wheel thing, very, very cool. Every game has that, but it's very unique to this game that helps you out a ton. The shard crafting system. Super, super cool way to get new characters in the game. Here it is the crafting system, guys. You can make shiny crafted characters, you can make regular crafted characters. Um, the mounts, which a lot of people in the beginning were saying, oh, they stole that from All-Star Tower Defense. Maybe, maybe that's why the game got shut down, because this used to be a blue mount as opposed to something else. So, I don't know, the mounts got changed a little bit, but uh, yeah, super, super cool mounts. Like, look at this NECA. If you guys remember when this came out, it was one of the coolest, fastest mounts that you can have in the game, and everyone was wanting it. There's always something every update that made you want to play the game. Like, this update, we have this living armor. Who does not want to look like Alphonse El Elric, I think is his name? Alphonse El Eldrick. Uh, however you say his name. But, like, this mount is so freaking cool. 
But like I was saying guys, every time there was an update in the game, it was always something new. It wasn't just a new world and new characters. It was a new world, new characters, and let's say passives on your characters. Like the strong passive or the extra genius passive or so on and so forth. It was not just, oh, update the game because we gotta update again. It was update the game with something new. We got secrets in the game, which are always super, super cool, super hard to hatch, like Super Island Secret. You guys remember when I hatched my shiny pinky? Yeah, I do, I'm still crying over that. But like, you got secrets in every single world. I gotta collect a couple more secrets, I'm still missing some. But with all this luck, it shouldn't be too, too hard to hatch the rest of those early secrets. Um, I've gotten every other secret other than those couple that I showed in the beginning. The Crazy Town, Fruits, Hero, and Walled City. Everything else, I've gotten secrets. The new time trial dungeon thing, where you go there and you get a ton more yen. You have the new like raid system which drops those shards. Everything about this game is top tier. It is, you know, when you expect a new update from Dyer, you expect the best thing. And that is exactly what we get every time we get an anime fighter simulator update. This game's amazing, it has a new badge system. Like Pokemon, guys, imagine this is your gym leaders and you destroyed all these gym leaders. That's what they look like and they look so freaking cool. Let's see, I'm looking through them right now. If I had to choose my top three badges, I would definitely say this one right here, the Slayer badge is one of them. The Destiny badge is one of them. And then, mm, I'll probably say this one right here, the Empty badge is one of my top three. Curse badge, they're all so good though. I could say every single one of them are very good. There's badges, there's upgrades. The upgrades to increase your star open by opening more eggs, extra equips from the time trials, more boosts, luck, damage, inventory stays, and so much more. Guys, I spent 2,200 hours on this game. 2,200 hours of my life or well at least of my life or AFK have been spent on this game. It is the number one best anime game on Roblox. It is the number one game in my opinion on Roblox to this day, I guess. There's more stuff that are coming out next year. Um, Daira did release Anime Trainer Simulator. It is an honorable mention. It's just too new for me to say that it definitely deserves to be on the best games of Roblox for 2021, but it is there. Let me know what you guys think of this list. Uh, I definitely enjoyed all the games that have come out this year. There's so many of them. Uh, Anime Fighter Simulator definitely deserves another one. Let me know what your number one for this year will be, and I guess I will see you guys later, okay? Reese's thesis. Bye.